Sometimes I got to look myself in the mirror and ask myself, is that all you got? Come on, you're prepared, you're conditioned, you've been beaten, you've been battered, you've been broken, you've been left for dead, but there's more because you're breathing and you feel it. So if you can feel it, you can push it, so push past. The truth of the matter is, that's not all you have. There's more left in you. I know you're tired. I know you're weary. I know you've been brought to tears. All the blood, all the sweat, all the sacrifice, all of the suffering. I know you want to quit right now, but this is not the time to let go. This is not the time to doubt. This is not the time to quit. Keep going. Use it to your advantage. See the pain as a stage. See the pain as a plane. See the pain as an opportunity. You gave me an opportunity to reinvent myself. You gave me an opportunity to come out of my grave that you put me in. You left me for dead. I'm coming out alive. I'm coming out kicking. I'm coming out swinging. You left me and thought I wouldn't overcome. You forgot about me. You let go and thought I couldn't survive it, but I'm here. It's not always about people. Sometimes life, oftentimes, most of the times, life will bloody your nose. Life will leave you in a cardiac arrest. Life will leave you in an accident. Life will knock you upside your head and dare you to get back up again. You the pain, because there's more left. I'm talking to that person in the hospital bed. I'm talking to that person that lost their mother. I'm talking to that person that lost their father. I'm talking to that person who didn't get picked on the team. I'm talking to that stay-at-home mom. I'm talking to that future engineer. I'm talking to that future entrepreneur, that hustler. I'm talking to that person who's been called to do something nobody's done in their family. I know you're going through an unprecedented amount of pain, but you can press through it if you can feel it you can lift it the time is now to do what's never been done use the pain use the pain use the pain so I hear the crowds calling and even if they're silent I will call myself Why is it that we go through life and we feel like we can live without pain, that we can avoid pain, that we can go under it or go around it? Pain is like pressure. And without pressure, there is no diamond. And I'm just wondering if there's anybody out there that's listening to me that is sick and tired of complaining about the pain. I don't make enough. They didn't believe in me. They weren't there. They didn't see it. They didn't pick me. I didn't get the raise. I didn't get the promotion. She walked out on me. He abused me. My kids are ignoring me. My teenagers are driving me crazy. I'm just wondering if there's anybody that want to stop complaining about it and is going to use it to your advantage. Imagine if you could use pain as a fuel. Imagine if you could use the pain as a passport. Imagine if you could use the pain to push you, to condition you, to prepare you for the stages and the rooms you've got to walk into and the tables you've got to sit at and the stages you have to stand on. What if the pain can make you better? What if the pain could build muscle? What if the pain could cause you to retire, to leap farther, to run faster? What if the pain could help you? What if all pain isn't hurt, but it's help? Because you wouldn't have prayed like you pray had you not been hurt. You wouldn't love like you love had you not been hurt because you know what it's like to hate somebody. So you refuse to go down that path. Use the pain. A musician plays his instrument, play pain, play it. When pain shows up at your door, when people try to inject it, inflict it, use it to your advantage. Oftentimes, it feels like it is impossible, an insurmountable feat to get past the beating. But as long as I can feel it, I'm not in a state of paralysis. If you can feel it, you can move it. 
I can feel this. I can move this. I'm not paralyzed. I can feel this. It's heavy, but it's got to get out of my way. When life throws you a weight, lift it. Ah, ah. I'm not complaining because life got heavier. I'm celebrating because I'm getting stronger. Let's go. Use the pain. Your perspective is everything. You got to see this thing differently. You got to find a mirror and see this thing differently. And I got to speak these affirmations and I have to believe. I have to believe, even if I'm bleeding, even if I'm broken, I have to believe that this came to help me, not hurt me. It made me better. I'm not bitter. I'm wiser. I'm conditioned now. I see this thing differently now. I'm able to move and navigate and breathe different and talk different and walk different and build differently. I'm not building out of anger and revenge. I'm building from a place of abundance. Pain is inevitable and it is unavoidable. You cannot live without pain. But how you navigate that pain will determine how you propel into your purpose. Use the pain, use the pain to push you into a place of abundance. Use the pain to push you into a place where your very existence is life-giving. Use the pain, not for revenge, but for fulfillment. I, I don't want you to die because you wanted me to die. I don't hate you because you hate me. I don't want you, I don't want you to lose everything even though you took everything from me. I want everybody to win. If you can hear my voice, I want you to win. I'm talking to people that have lied on me. I'm talking to the people that have given up on me. I'm talking to the people that have walked out on me after I gave you everything. I'm talking to you, I want you to win. I want everybody to win. That's how you know you've used the pain. Not to inflict pain, but you've converted that pain into fuel. And so there needs to be a conversation on the inside of you about conversion convert the pain into fuel, not payback. Payback is for punks. I don't need you to hurt like you hurt me. I want you to win because I want to be better. I got to be bigger. I got to be the better human being. I got to be the one who is existing that's life giving. I got to be the one that can do better. I got to be the one that after you knock me off of the mountain, after you push me off of the hill, after you drag me off the staircase I was climbing, after I wipe the blood out of my eyes and spit up whatever I need to spit up and cough up whatever I need to cough up, I'm coming back to help you. I need everybody to win. Pain is inevitable and it is unavoidable. The question is, can you leave where you've been? Can you close the gap between pain and promise? So it's time to come face to face with pain. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, how much more can you take? Ask yourself the question, is this all you got? The more you run and the more you lift and the more you train and the more you dance and the more you sing and the more you advance into the beauty, the brilliance of your future, the more that you move forward and you advance and you do it for your mother, you do it for your father, you do it for the one that believed in you, you do it for God himself who put you on this planet to make an impact and leave a legacy. Ask the pain one question. Is this all you have? Is this all you got? Well, I'm lifting these weights. I know it hurts, but ask that dumbbell. Is that all you got? Ask that trumpet. Is that all you got? When you're in rehearsal, when you're practicing again, when you're beating on your crab, ask yourself, is this all you got? Self, I got more in me. You thought you were empty, but you had a quarter tank. Some of you had half a tank. Some of you had three quarters of a tank. There's more in you. My content creators, my entrepreneurs, my musicians, come on, my keynote speakers, my captains of industries, my CEOs, from the captain to the cashier, there is more in you. It hurts when we hit the, the gym. It hurts when we're lifting these weights and we're trying to accomplish a goal. It hurts, it's painful. It's daunting, it's cumbersome. I don't want to do it. I'm sweating, I'm, I'm bleeding, I'm crying, I'm suffering. But after I've suffered, there is a reward.
Stay at home father, stay at home mother, lawyer, doctor, hygienist, author. I don't know who you are, where you're from, but there's more in you. You may be hurting, maybe dying on the inside, but you still got life left. You gave them everything you had and they left you for dead. I know what that feels like to be left for dead after you gave everything you had. I know what it feels like. You give and you pour and you sow and you believe and you give them everything you have and they leave you for dead. And you are either going to lie in a state of paralysis or feel the pain. The truth of the matter is if you just feel it, you still got life left in you. Close the gap between pain and promise. The gap is closing. The gap is closing. The gap is closing. The gap is closing today. Use the pain! Use the pain! Use the 